I think it's important to stress that that point has, has been articulated as the eagerness of the minister to interfere with the independence of IPED. And that's, and that's incorrect. Precisely as I had answered to uh, the Honorable Chair when he posed this question, what, what were the reporting lines? The reporting lines were direct. Uh, the IPED executive director reports to the Minister of Police. But also there are provisions in the IPED Act. Uh, I think it's section seven, subsection 12, as you know, also section 28, subsection one, which entitles the minister to be ask for any information pertaining to the work of IP to the executive director and so on. So <clears throat> I think at that point, you know, it's important because then it has got to relate to this question that the chair wanted to be clarified by in terms of the, 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 the reporting lines. A, and I think sequentially, a, there was a need for that in the light of the allegations of the two reports. A, and also what had been alleged is the withdrawal of the docket from the National Prosecuting Authority. So it became important because it was in the context of the ongoing work that I had, on the one hand, assigned to the reference group and they had produced a particular report at some point. And of course there was a need also for further investigation to clarify ourselves about you know, what happened, how it happened, and why it happened, and, and so on. And then decide in terms of what it is that institutionally from an accountability point of view, we therefore needed to, uh, to do and undertake. 